Welcome, <laughs> welcome to Table Top Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff, guys, if you want to <laughs> catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, <laughs> Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, <laughs> Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. <laughs> we also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Table Top Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. <laughs> So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. And of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. Let's jump right into it. What's so funny? I don't know, man. It's just like right before we start every single show. I always try to get us as quiet as possible. And? And it's like... (laughs) Something possesses you mm. <laughs> to tap and tinker and <laughs> what? And the mic picks everything up. What? What is that? What is that? What's that noise thing called? <laughs> what? Um, what background? Uh, is it BDSM? What ASMR? You tripping? <laughs> <laughs> I told you this is not hey, that kind of show. This yo. is Commander Leader Lee. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up, Smoke? How are you doing so, today? Oh, man. man. This is not that kind of show, <laughs> bro. What? <laughs> Welcome to be a DSM tabletop top. <laughs> you tripping. Stop. Stop immediately. Oh, immediately shit. taking off air. Oh, shit. So, hey, 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 what's up, Ray? How we doing? Welcome, welcome. Oh, you did the thing, Jeff. What? Now I'm, I'm, now I'm stuck in place. What do you mean you're in second place? I'm stuck in place. What do you mean you're stuck in place? On the screen. I didn't do nothing. You you did the heavy Thor's hammer, how drop you, the mug down you? on the friggin' snot bag. Hey. Yes, sir. Hey. We're doing snot bag. Welcome, welcome. Sure see, they, they can't even see my emotes. I'm emoting right now. It's tough. What he said, this is L1 lead the lead report. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this. Uh, this shit's I'm crazy. Yeah. Properties. Oh, I keep doing your thing. Hurry man. up and fix yourself, sir. I'm looking weird just standing on a frozen ah, screen. Ah, look at that. Bam. We back in action. Are you back in action? We back in action. Uh, I promise not to slam the 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 cup on the table mm. so you can start moving. Uh, so what's new with you, Jeff? What's good, man? No, man. I just got off of work, you know, uh, sipping my water in my, uh, in my Batman, in Batman my, cup. My Batman cup. What was that thing that guy said? Um, what guy? Uh, like the uh, when he was reviewing the the new Suicide Squad game, it was trash. <laughs> it was so, oh, man. I'm, you what? That was crazy. That was crazy. We we're watching like Asmund Gold kind of react to it because yeah. he's like a neutral party in the whole thing. Yeah. So basically, they were comparing uh 2015's Arkham Knight to uh 2024 Four. 2024's uh, Suicide Squad, that's Squad that's killed crazy. the Justice League, and basically it's like they downgraded in graphics. And but I was also watching other reviews too on it. So um, the game not only looks like trash, but it feels like I'm playing Sunset Overdrive from the Sergeant Lee the Lee reporting in. That's so fuzzy nuts. Fuzzy nuts. So welcome, brother. He's like not only not only did it look like um, not only did it look like trash, but it's like Rocksteady had an ample amount of time. I can't believe that's the same company. It's not. That's crazy. It's not because they apparently they hired these woke these woke people to start making the game now so they kind of insert their their little spy bots in in everything to try to make <laughs> it <laughs> you mean their agents they, they're little spy they're, bots they're to like sleeper agents to like fuck with the game but um no they're so but he was uh his name's agent right who what would the guy you were talking about? Oh, Asman Gold. Asman Gold was yeah, reviewing. Yeah, yeah, Asman yeah. Gold was re- uh, looking at a comparison video that somebody put together, and basically he's saying certain because uh, he, he didn't play either, so he couldn't be biased. Right, he's like a neutral party. He's like a neutral know, party, so he's he, never really. Yeah, been yeah. So right. he's literally the only one that can actually um, have a conversation. Give a fair assessment. Yeah, right. yeah. Hey, hello, Mister Chocolate. Welcome, yeah. welcome. Yeah, so he was kind of he was kind of having that um, he was kind of having that weird um, that weird uh, uh, compare. Uh, he was doing the compare and contrast between the twenty twenty four and the the twenty fifteen, and it's like the level of detail that they put in the game, not even story base or what it was about. It's just 
the level of detail that they put in the game wasn't even there. Like even Harley Quinn's moves now compared to the 2015 version, when you do the DLC side mission, just the combat, just the combat was, was completely just stale. Different. Right? Yeah, the combat was stale, and it's like, like you said, like I said, it's like you were playing Sunset Overdrive from um, the Xbox One. That's tough. No, no, no keep going. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but no, it it was trash, man. It was trash. I don't. I don't see myself buying it. Even the people that pre-ordered, especially the hundred dollar edition version, so they can get it right. a couple of days early. They didn't even get a couple but, of days early. But he said something specific, right? He's like, he's like, regardless if you think the game is good or bad, mm-hmm. this was the mo- m- the main people who are going to be playing this game are people who like Batman, people who want to be Batman. No, no, he yeah. said the main the main people who made the. Arkham Knight, Knight games. That's what it was. Okay. Yes. Yeah, the main people who made the Arkham Knight games are the ones who wanted to be Batman and love Batman, Batman as a character, right. which is why they put so much right. effort on, in, in, into making that game. But it's like, nah, bro, it's trash. What did the Blasphemous Nugget? Yeah. yeah. Welcome, welcome, brother. Um, Snot Dog says, "What do y'all play games on?" Hmm. Um. Well, I used to be an Xbox connoisseur, but I officially left them because they stopped making um, any games and any games worth playing. So, um, brother kind of kept telling me to try PlayStation. So, um, I got in the midway of PS4, but I got the PlayStation Slim. But the first game I've ever played was The Last of Us um, remastered for the PS4. And after I played that game, I loved it. So, I went ahead and bought Uncharted. Uh, Nathan Drake collection. I played Uncharted Four. Then, of course, Spider Man came out. But I just uh, until dawn. I played that story based game until dawn. So, but it, it's like all these games were starting to be way better on that because um, they focus on story base. Yes, right. I get it, but it's first party. It's a triple A games. They're actually really good. So, because my brother started playing. No, actually, the first first game I played was. Um, What's it called? Second Son. Oh, right. Because that was the, the per- launch yeah. on PS4. Yes. Right? Yeah. So when you got your PlayStation, when you got your PlayStation 4, um, Second Son was the first game that I ever played. Um, and then my brother played as the good version, bad version. Right. It was a decision based. Yeah, it was decision based. So uh, depending on how many good things you did or bad things you do, just like the first the first two games. Um, is uh, is the direction you went? So he decided to play the bad version. So I, <laughs> I replayed the game and started to play the good version. What's up? <laughs> Blasphemous says, "Well, Xbox gang, bro, treachery is what this is." Sorry, you sorry. What? I had to I had to leave Xbox after 360. Mm-hmm. I, I, if you had caught me like when 360 was out, I would have been ride or die, bro. Because that for me that was just the golden age of Xbox. Like. Like I have no, like I said, I have no issue with Xbox. If Xbox makes a comeback, I'll definitely right. play. Like every, every like a uh, Telltale game that I bought, I played on. I don't there. know. For me, for me, before. Xbox just beat their first party titles into the grave, and once they didn't know what else to do with it, they sold the IP, and then whoever company picked it up just kind of made it into a looter shooter. Exactly, it, and it's you know a, and it's and it's the same thing with um, like um, I know a, a manager, <laughs> I know a manager at work. He's like, man, bro, I'm Xbox all the way. I've been Xbox for this, that, and long, and all that. But it's like, my my his twin brother was convincing him to go to PlayStation, so he got PlayStation, and and then he got um, the Spider Man game. And I'm like, bro, did you get this the first one? And mm-hmm. did you get Miles Morales? He said, no, I got the second one because it comes with it's, it's like an exclusive with it. I right. said, no, you gotta play the first one first, then you gotta play the Miles Morales, then after that you can play the second one, and it's gonna tie in all together. So that man, and then he got also got God of War too. So the man jumped on it. Even even Vic, the man that called me treacherous. <laughs> he's, for, yeah, that's what he said in yeah. He says in the chat. I even agree Vic, with Nugget, your treason will be remembered. The Reaper Empire shall remember this. We will remember it. You are treacherous. They'll hang us from the gallows. The bro. gallows. <laughs> but um, <laughs> no. So but even even Vic, the one. The one that didn't even want to give God of War for PS4 a chance changed his mind. Cause it's good. As soon as he it's played a, it, it's it's, good but game. that's what I'm saying. Like, because like, they make games. Like, it's not a 
I feel like with Xbox, it's like they want it to be an entertainment console. But you also like the games on Xbox aren't bad. No, they're not. You know what I'm saying? It's just. But I, I would like a. There's the, all, Call of Duty can be played on all platforms. Right. Um. Um. What? It's what, just the whole first battlefield party element. Yeah, right. Battlefield can be played on all platforms. But right. give me a um, exclusive for your your for your gaming thing, so I can see if I love it, if I like it, all that stuff. Every Xbox game I have on here for the Xbox One. Our it's first party. Mu- uh, they're not first party. They're multi-platform. The oh. 360. Right. The 360. The 90% of our games are first, first party. party. Exactly. And because, like, they actually cared. And, 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 and trust me, guys. Like, I'm in Xbox. I have the OG. I have the 360. And I have the One. It's just that I wasn't going to buy the new one because it's like you, now you're just buying third party um, game um, gaming companies and then they're just releasing stuff on in their store. It's not like it's anything that I'm interested in or would want to play. Because I'm a story guy. What you got? Snot Dog says, would you ever go to PC gaming? Yeah, I would because I think they have more opportunity. The graphics are more it's so much. The it, graphics are more detailed, and then you have the option of using mouse or your controller. So it doesn't even matter because your controller. But it even goes deeper than that. Too. Well, yeah, for right. sure. But and there's more opportunity right. um, with that. More more memory, all that stuff like that. I don't have an issue. I would I would, would definitely do that. I just ain't got that kind of money. <laughs> you hey, you could build bu- you could build budget. Well, here's the thing about PC. It's modular. You don't have oh, yeah, to buy sure. one whole, you know, like system it, like build and then just like build it yourself yeah. you can upgrade periodically like one day you'll upgrade the graphics mm-hmm. one day you'll update the the storage you know the the ssd you'll update the ram you know now they have these ai um ai performance chips so like uh you can run software with an ai performance mm-hmm. chip you know what i'm saying so i don't know um snot dog says i respect that you feel me? Right. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I would definitely l- love to go to PC because I think PC gamer ruin gaming for console players. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Mouse, true? keyboard, Mac setting. Absolutely. Yeah. What the heck? Especially Accurate in, shoot, especially in like uh, uh, Fortnite or, or Call of Duty or anything like that. You're using your you mouse. You know how easy like, it is to spam a keyboard or a clicker? You know how you know how skilled you have to be to be able to do that on a controller? Like, that's crazy. Exactly. Like, it's no, I prime get it. example because I, like. I know Vic shits on me for... I know Smoke shits on me for playing Rocket League. I fucking love Rocket League. I've been playing Rocket League since 2015. <laughs> 2015, you know what I'm saying? I used to play more competitively, mm-hmm. um, but now it's just casual because, like, psh, I was never going to be a whole RS, RLC. Oh, yeah. You, it said you had to put, like, 3,000 hours. It was crazy. 3,000 hours crazy. into The it. amount of hours yeah. you needed to it's dedicate so, to that. In was, order to become, like, a champion or there was get, no get way. paid for right. it. Yeah. There was no way. There was no way that was going to happen. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, even compared, like, when you're going up against PC players, it's like all the camera movement is on the mouse. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, for sure. And Instead it's very of a, simple. Right. It's, it's very simple. Like, you could do cr- more aerial acrobatics with a mouse and keyboard mm-hmm. than you can with a joystick and right, two tr- triggers. Tr- 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 yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it really depends. It really depends. Um, Snot Dog says, if you have friends who play PC... And are updating their system. See if you can snag their... Oh, right. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, ain't that what... um? Oh, man. Skyler? No. Your boy who hooked me up with the PC. Dude, we got a lot of boys. He hooked me up with the PC that I got in my room right now. It's just kind of chilling under my bed. I kind of broke it down, took some parts, and then made something else with it. I can't remember. Come on, dog. He ju- who just came out the hospital with the accident. Bionic leg. You tripping? All right. Oh, let's you're talking. Oh, you're talking about Anthony. I'm tri- Bruh, you're tripping. That's all you have. He's to the say. only one who's given me a PC ever I, I, in my I, whole I life. I can't remember. <laughs> you tripping? I can't remember. You talking about my, my boy Anthony? Yeah. <laughs> you tripping? Yeah, yeah. Man. But yeah, man. Um. But yeah, that's that's a great idea. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Like I've had some boys hook me up with some keyboards and stuff like that, and like. You know, in the beginning, you could definitely, you know, make like a a a, a budget build or even below budget build, mm-hmm. like <laughs> a broke build or something broke like that. Build. But hey, if it does what you need it to do and it and it runs the games you need to run, yeah, albeit ultra low settings, you know what I'm saying, you know. But at least you're still getting that PC experience. No, I feel it. Though it's a bare minimum. Um, do do do. Smoke says, in all honesty, I feel like all games should have. 
a setting for consoles to turn off crossplay with. P Don't they already have that? I feel like it, um, I, I I think like because most of the games that I play, there's a setting where you can turn off uh, cross play or cross platform play. Oh, just so PC players right? Because I know Rocket League lets you do that. Um, because it's more easier for them to right do right. certain things. Because I know uh, for a limited time, I know Call of Duty had that feature too, where it was just like if you didn't want to play with PC players or mobile players, because you already knew. Who was a mobile player? Who was a Switch player? Who was a PC player? And who was a you know what I'm saying? Because like with the mobile and the Switch, like the the latency is egregious, man. Oh my! Like slim to none. It's no, the latency <laughs> is disgusting, dude. It's disgusting. You're like, Aren't you, I'm shooting you. Had to you. Think ahead. I'm shooting you. <laughs> like you have to shoot the bullet to his shoulder because you know then it's gonna. <laughs> oh man, no, the latency the, was crazy yeah. off of that shit. But we pretty much have like one of every console except for the the newest Xbox. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's the that's the only one I didn't get. I know that we got the PS4, the PS OG, and then we got the yeah. Slim. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, um, uh, you got the PlayStation Five, which is what, what all the Xbox. Yeah, right. yeah. But right. uh, of course, like I said, after the one, which I still have. I stopped buying. I stopped buying Xbox Xbox um, games. One thing like that. Xbox did sell me on is Game Pass, but I just yeah. feel like that's that's an extension of the whole Windows platform. Well, yeah, for sure. Right. And and they and they, the reason why they sell it you on that is because it's like you can play um, Xbox games from the OG Xbox all the way that's through. Um, to, I'm so glad they poured to it the on one. That. Yeah. Right. So it's like okay, we okay. can't really give you the games that you want, but right. we can bring you back to the nostalgic right. era of what the games. See, the games but what that I you do play. like, I don't know, I don't know if Xbox still does this because they started doing this. They started doing this with uh, late generation 360 with the backwards compatibility. As long as yes. you had the disc, you owned the license mm -hmm. to the game, and you didn't have to. Which is why we were it. able to play World at War, right? Um, and we didn't have to buy it from the market because exactly. all you had, all you needed was. Put the disc in and then download it, it, download the it from the Play Store. From the Play, play Store. I said, yeah, see, Google. look at that. It is, man. PlayStation is playing all them damn me. gotcha games on your <laughs> fucking mobile phone. I swear, every day it's a new game for this. <laughs> like, what are you doing? I'm oh, farming. Uh, <laughs> I'm idle farming. Oh, you saw me doing that? Yeah, yeah. all the time. It's always an idle about. game, bro. What are you talking about? You know, just set it and forget it. That's crazy. That's how lazy we got with mobile games, bro. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> we don't feel like farming shit. <laughs> for sure man but um one thing i like i said i i love the xbox man i'll never give up on it but it's like as of right now i'm giving it a break until they can go uh, come back to it and even with um look what happened january 31st we watched state of play you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. state of play released a whole bunch of uh of upcoming games that are coming out later on this year first one of course that uh, caught your eye which w they've been working on since what was it, 2018 For a minute. or 2019? As a uh, Cellar Blade, right? Snot Dog, yes, absolutely. Just filter crossplay in general, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's what I definitely do. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, like uh, Stellar Blade, that looks like a very interesting game. It's like post-apocalyptic future. You don't know if who's human, what nah, what species. It, I just love that about. style of game. Like I love that. The thing I love about PlayStation is because a lot of their games are Eastern. Uh, uh, developing companies yeah of course and like they really go for the aesthetic job like you know they, they they really focus on the aesthetic the combat system miniature details mm -hmm. like world building and stuff like that which is why i like games like near automata i like games like gravity uh, rush, uh, gravity rush. Mm -hmm. i like games like um what's the other one bayonetta bayonetta you know what I'm saying? Which, like uh, Nintendo bought them, so yeah, Nintendo, even, which was trash, was man. Because up. yeah, because Bayonetta used to be on all platforms, and then um, they never uh, the what was it the the production company of that? Yeah, yeah, they um, they sold the rights to Nintendo. Well, no, because Microsoft didn't want to fund them for the second project. Uh, okay, so that's why right. they put the second and third one on Nintendo. Right. Okay. So Nintendo ended up buying sense. the rights to to that studio bayonetta and then they added bayonetta to their whole nintendo all-stars roster okay yeah which that, is that why bayonetta will show up in like super smash bros or some shit like that and which is why they're uh the bayonetta 2 and 3 games mm -hmm. are only exclusive to nintendo so yeah i played that first game on xbox uh 360 and then 
that was it i had i had to get a nintendo switch mm -hmm. but it's just games like that um what you gonna call it uh shadow of the colossus you know what i'm saying um so snot dog do, do, do. no smoke i can turn off cross play but i won't be able to play with anybody except xbox players i'm saying a setting where console players play with console players hmm okay so he, he, he like a little more tailored i feel that i feel it i feel that um blasphemous says nah for real though smoke has a point pc high key annoying no i feel that right right because it's like this i feel like the skill level it takes to be good on console is higher than the skill level it takes to be on yeah PC. for sure and that's that i i think that's why um i think uh that's why um console gamers are so hard on pc pc gamers mm -hmm. especially if you have the mouse um right but uh, but at the same at the same time like i said i don't discriminate um well and on top of that here's why i have to discriminate because pc has the option of modding yeah like if you, you look at if you look at like, grand theft auto 5 online that's literally they literally have the right. ability to, uh, the ability to do way more Right. Um, even uh city city um mm. skylines mm -hmm. city skylines where you can they have these extra features that you can only access through, on the pc but not on right. the xbox or through mods through forums through, yeah through github through yeah. all this shit yeah. you know what i'm saying so there's there's extra stuff for so it's like they always have that inherited advantage and i don't even think the servers can recognize okay this person's modding mm -hmm. some of them can you know, and they'll Loop probably holes. pair you with other modders, but which Loop is what holes. they started doing. Yeah. And shit like that. You know, but no, I, I completely understand. I completely understand. Because PC, they get sweaty, but it's like no effort, though. No, I They call it. us sweaty, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah. And then uh, also what was next is they're they're because you know how they did all the Sonic games. So they're re-releasing it. Oh, now yeah. Because, Sonic anniversary. Because Sonic 3, they showed the teaser trailer for it that's coming out uh, December of this year, 2024. So in in, um, in mem in commemoration commemoration of Shadow. They're releasing the the next Sonic game called Sonic X Shadow Generations. Shadow Generations. So, so basically. Wait. So do you think this is just a reskin of Sonic? Okay. Don't get me wrong. Sonic Generations, mm -hmm. I can replay that game a billion times. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. That game was, oh, oh, my gosh. It was just a compilation of every type of Sonic. Like, it just paid homage to every Sonic. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the Sonic Riders, um, what you call it, the, the, the side-scrolling Sonic, mm -hmm. you know, um, there's just been, I don't know, there's just been so many versions of I Sonic. I think they're combining all of them together. Right, because it's been 10 years since that first one. Because yes. Sonic Generations 1 came out 2014. Mm -hmm. And that was with the modern and then the little right. 90s version. Of, yeah, right. so I think I think they're just combining all of them together. Smoke says, PC players can mod everything and they hack. For example, COD. Don't get me stuck. Right, right. No, facts. No, I feel it. Facts. No, I feel, no, I feel you. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. That's why it's like, for me, I always turn off crossplay. Mm -hmm. when, whenever I'm on any game that's cross-platform, I just turn off crossplay. No, I feel it. Yeah, because a lot of the things that they can do is very simple and easy. And the thing is, they can talk shit faster than you. Cause they got yeah, the because keyboard. they're like... <laughs> they got the keyboard and all that shit. <laughs> they could talk shit faster. Su super typing. And super even typing. if you do plug in your keyboard, you know, you still got to put the controller down. And mm -hmm. Unless, wait, does Xbox still do that? Uh, a keyboard attachment that physical keyboard attachment uh yes but it's still slow it's it's still, like it's really yeah it's it's still slow like um even though there's a keyboard attachment it's not like you're going to be using it like i mean even with the uh, ps5 they have the sensor pad so you can like no, no, no it. sensor pads are inefficient but i'm talking about like the literal yeah they still have it you can so connect, why would that be worse you can connect it to the bottom of it because nobody especially like like for example when you play rocket league if you don't have the words preset, it's going to be difficult for you to like uh, say actually what you want to say and then go back in there. You see what I'm saying? So it's going to be a little bit more. I feel that, but some like some things can only be said in group chat or in, yeah, in, in text yeah, that's chat, true. right? That's true. Because usually, if it's multiplayer like that, it's it's it separates the party, so only your party is going to hear you. Mm -hmm. But if you want to talk shit to the whole game, to the whole lobby, yeah, you want to. 
you want to you want to try that yeah no i feel it but um uh we can jump on to the next one another one was uh silent hill <laughs> what's up what, what's up <laughs> snot dog says y'all don't use y'all podcast mics to talk some crisp shit online <laughs> <laughs> Crisp. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, shit. No, I, I feel that. No, I feel that. Honestly, once I get my whole thing set up. No, it'd be nice if we can like, if we had mics, we can program the computer to like, or the same system to t- uh, to type w- uh, or text what. I'm we're pretty saying. sure you could do that with some fucking AI, crazy mods. AI crazy mods yeah. in there. Right. No, I feel it. He's yeah. Use a bot or something, an AI bot. No, I feel it. Like that. I feel That's it. pretty easy. Um. Yeah. The next one that we saw on State of Play was Silent Hill: The Short Message. So it's it was basically that Indian girl that ended up deleting herself, and then that-, that was the dumbest question she asked. Like, what do you mean? You you straight? She's like you offed yourself. She's like, then, am I in hell? Like that's crazy. She's like, how do you how do you self delete? <laughs> Go to hell. And then ask, what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> well, because... <laughs> she, that's crazy. Hey, hey, hey. Here's the thing. Hey. If I'm playing a game... Some, some people think that's the if, end, you if, know? If I'm playing a game and the premise is stupid and the motivation to move the plot is stupid, it's going to piss me off the whole game. Because I'm going to be thinking, all of this is happening because, da. And it's a dumb reason. You well, I mean? you never know. What if it's... Think about it. <laughs> What what's that? What's happening? <laughs> oh man! What do you say? Okay, so Reaper says slow as fuck. He also says nobody uses that shit anymore. Uh, and then he also said, which is why we wait till the round is over to talk some outlandishly prison time shit to the other team. Oh, I bet, man. <laughs> I bet. Hell no. Hell no. No, the, but what if it's it? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're gonna have a stupid. You're gonna have. A, you're gonna say this is stupid. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. It's we, haunted. We do it live. You want me to turn it back on? It's haunted. Hold on, give me one second. Ooh. Oh man. Oh shit. Br- Bruce what? is revealing. Bruce is revealing his skinwalker form. Does he think we're going outside? Did he get too hot? Oh no, that's fine. I'll just be the unlockable. Go! Could have gave me a warning. It's one fifty-five. Oh okay. All right, guys. We prevented a electrical fire. We do alive. Jeff saved the day. We do absolutely. Even if this room was on fire. We're still going. What the fuck? Skin boiling. I didn't fucking matter. Watch us. <laughs> need need to need a Bruce cam for sure. Oh, like uh, you're right. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I want to do a Bruce cam, like right in the corner. Right. And do like a little tracking. Oh, I think I froze. I'm You're gonna have to fix me. You didn't. Or am I just behind? Yeah, you're behind. Okay, Bruce, come here. Jeff, if he knocks everything okay, over, yeah. no, never mind, Bruce. <laughs> That's a bad never idea. Never mind, Bruce. <laughs> why would you? Why would you hype him up? Why would you gas him? <laughs> Go sit down. Go sit down. Smoke says. <laughs> God damn. Damn. What do you say? You say you black as fuck. <laughs> a Hershey dude. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Man, no, that's literally me and all my uh, any identification photo I have to take. They have to do it in the light. They have to maximum brightness, bro. Damn, it's crazy. Damn, yeah. I look like a, a unlocked character, bro. Bro, look like it. That's what I'm saying. Word. W. I'm DLC, bro. <laughs> He's the unlockable character. That's crazy. That's crazy. You got to pay five tokens for me, bro. Right. What, bro. All right, back to our regularly scheduled program. No, no, but um, with the Silent Hill, the short message, like I was saying that, what if it's like a redemption arc? So, basically, she deleted herself, ended up in Silent Hill, where, whether it be in that town, on which is hell on earth, or an actual hell, 
And it's like she has to solve her way out and understand how shitty hell is in order to get back to the living so she can understand that her life is not worthless. That's a good theory, isn't it? Man. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that's a good theory, isn't it? First of hey. all, I thought no one escaped Silent Hill, bro. No, uh, yeah, people have escaped oh, Silent people Hill. Have? Yeah, haven't you seen the movie? I probably have, but I'd have to watch it again. The all these movies that I've watched were like when I was a jet, bro. Yeah, so the the blonde chick. You have to watch that again. The blonde chick that left Silent Hill ended up having to go back and then figured out what the mystery of. Silent Is there like a final boss you gotta fight? Uh, Pyramid no. Head. No, 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 because the bad guys were the people that lived in the town. It wasn't, it, yeah, because they- Are ended, they actually human? Or yeah, are they demons? The, the people that lived in the town are actually humans. They can just never leave because the, the, the chick that they killed, the innocent little girl that they killed, was the one keeping them there. Wait, so you're telling me people wake up every day and live their normal lives- They can't leave. In hell? They can't leave. Because every time they try to leave, either the, the either the road breaks and it's a giant- Are there perks? Do they pay taxes? No. <laughs> Does the government come and collect? Like, are they farming? The government doesn't even know that How place exists. How do they feed themselves? Whatever they can Where's find. Where's the food coming from? I don't know. Were there running vehicles? No. Was there infrastructure? Everybody, yeah, there's infrastructure. So everyone's homeless? No, everybody lives in the, in, the, in the thing. It's just when the siren rings, they go inside. And they're nice houses. Where's the electricity no, coming from? This is a lot of questions. That's crazy. I feel like I'm being. No, I gotta there. understand. It gotta make sense. It's like you want the answers. You can't just be like, "Hey, hell on earth." Yeah, I mean, With no logistics. Hell on earth in that town, you know, because you know how they say there's like blank spots that God can't see. Right. So, so, oh, is that the? Is yeah, that what they use? That's probably what it I was. feel that. Right. So, um, yeah. So the girl was keeping them in, in the town because of that. But that's that's what I'm thinking because that direction makes no sense to me. Especially when I was watching it, so they're basically showing they're basically showing um, her jumping um, jumping off the, the 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 building, deleting herself, and then after that, she wakes up in of course Silent Hill, and all she has is her cell phone. So she's, <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> Not dog say hell on earth got Wi Fi. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like heaven. I ain't gotta pay bills, no taxes, no utilities. Like what the fuck? That's crazy to me. Yeah, listen. Somehow, like, there's infinite food and resources. Like, motherfuckers wake up, do their job, go home, go to sleep. Like, that's crazy to me. That's crazy. Fuzzy nuts. Y'all need to listen to Smoke about the Dark Picture Anthology games. I played those games recently, and they are fire. I even went back to watch Smoke play it. Highly recommend. Right. No, he, no. Did, he did tell you. About yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So, cause I played until until dawn. So, um, there's a DLC. No, remember they just remastered until dawn for PlayStation Five. Oh, okay. Cause I was I got so excited because I'm like, oh Jeff, until dawn too, and it's like, no, until dawn remastered for PlayStation Five. That's so tough. that was dog shit. That's tough. No, but um, no, no, I'm hearing Vic about that. It's just I don't have time. That's the thing. Unless I take a vacation and then literally focus on that game, that's the only time I'll be able to play it. But, uh, no, I understand Fuzzy Nuts. I'll definitely get on top of it when I have an opportunity. But other than that, it's literally work, pod, uh, other stuff outside of work, and then trying to... I can't wait till full dive shit happens, like where they, they teleport your Oh, brain. like Shangri-La. Or even better, fucking sort out online without all the, the anime. murderous oh. fucking comatose type. Shit. Oh yeah, yeah, where your <laughs> where your body is deprived of nourishment. Like these motherfuckers was starving to death, <laughs> and all they had to do was beat the game, or they couldn't come back to consciousness. That's crazy to me. Gonna make that's a crazy. new updated console. It's not dog gonna make a new right. That's what, I just I'm just waiting for me. Just remaster the previous. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much <laughs> oh yeah I that's know literally what, what that's all it's been yep. this entire generation this generation of consoles it's just remasters ports mm -hmm. and hype videos yeah. and delays yeah, for sure. and then releasing garbage because you overhyped your game so much. Fuck yeah. It's especially like No Man's Sky when they <laughs> they've been talking about that bitch since what 2015. That's crazy. They finally released it. You know it's crazy. 2 years ago. They're selling you software with update packages. Well, that's why I said nobody owns any IP to games anymore. It's literally just okay, he's right there. It's literally just you pay you pay something and then after that we give you the access to it and if you fuck up we take it away from you. <laughs> that's crazy. That's oh, crazy. Man. 
That's crazy. Yes, sir. Buy this software. It's like they're selling you Windows, man. Yes, sir. That's how you know it's Microsoft. <laughs> it's Windows. So, and then um, the next one after that, literally after Silent Hill, the short message on the State of the Play, they literally started talking about Silent Hill, too. I don't know if that's a brand new game or if that's just a re... A, a, a re it's probably a remaster. A or, re or from, like, PlayStation 2. Like, if it's that, okay, cool. I get it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? If you're remastering or porting, like, a super old game, it's like, you know, not even a remaster, like a revisioning. Yeah. Of that kind of like how you said they're gonna revision God of War, the original trilogy. Yes, yes. So they're going to revision the entire yeah, that that's gonna be very that's interesting. That's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be interesting. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but when you're doing the the egregious what is it? The one they've been remastering since twenty fourteen. Complete dirty butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> that man's retarded. <laughs> um, what? All right. Do, do, do. Sexual Chocolate says, I can confirm 100. I was with Fuzzy when he played it. We be binging, binge watch, smoke, binge watching Smoke play his scary games. <laughs> uh, smoke says, season two coming out this year, I think. And I feel like Jeff would like it because I heard this one's is supposed to take place in. Oh, that's crazy. Take place in what? In space, boy. Oh, shit. That's not Remember nice. Dead Space? Look at the Ark Survival ascending fifty bucks. Fifty games, fifty dollars for the same buggy game. Right. Yep. Right. You know, Smoke says complete dirty butt cheeks. Right. I think he's talking about uh, No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Yeah. Because they promised you, they showed you, um, in in before what was it? What was it called again? Before they got rid of E three. They showed you on E three twenty fifteen. Then they showed it in 2016, then 17, then 18, then 19. They showed you all this amazing stuff, the things that you can go to. And then Dog, at the end E3, of the game. E3 went out sad. Bro, Angry Joe, was, <laughs> Angry Joe was so fucking pissed. He's like, what? This is it? I just back out from the planet and look at the universe? Um, dead. This is trash. My I mean, qu they my question added. Is, have y'all heard of the game Turok? Yeah. I think it was on 64, right? Uh yes yes and they then they like remade it. Was it a remake? Yeah. Really? Yeah. No no, no like they like they update the graphics like it's the same. How did but how did it port from N sixty four to straight up Xbox? I don't know. They probably because I felt like the N sixty four was like that was awesome. They probably lost especially the IP. When, you, when you when you were the monkey with the the fucking heat seeker gun when you do the pew pew pew. Uh, what was it? It was like a a one v one. It was kind of like when you play GoldenEye. You would basically go through. Right. The it was the same vibe as yeah. GoldenEye, but with like aliens sticks and dinosaurs, and, sticks, and sticks and spears. Yeah. And then like an alien would crash land down, and then you'd like use the aliens' guns and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But something like that. Yeah. I, I think it's spelled like that. Turok. You think I spelled that right, Joe? Uh. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> You what? Sensational. <laughs> oh, man. Um, uh, next one. Um, what did they say? Uh, Vic says, oh, by the way, did y'all see the new World at War thumbnail I sent y'all? Yes, that looks amazing. Yeah, you sent it to me. Yeah, I, I literally, it was a, yeah, man, yes, that's sir. amazing. Keep working on your good, thumbnail. Because yeah. you got to understand, um, there's like a trick to uh, thumbnails, like impressions, will go up higher the more it's appealing to the audience and they'll um, put you into the algorithm. So um, just try to make them do do the best of your ability and I guarantee you it'll put your content out even further, especially in the gaming community. So keep uh, keep working oh, on that, sure. man. Because your thumbnails sure, are looking sure. very good, no, man. they look fire. Like, yeah. I be scrolling, I'm like, whoa, shit, that's big. Exa exactly, Word. yeah, yeah like yeah. It, it literally catches your eye. Mm -hmm. um, we can do, I mean, they did Me Metroid Awakening VR, but we don't really play VR um then they have dragon dogma 2 i got a question what's up what would get you to play vr like what would get you to take vr serious what would get me to take vr seriously mm -hmm. shangri-la <laughs> you just named <laughs> sensation you answered you question what? you answered a question with the title uh, of an anime shangri-la that didn't explain <laughs> shit to me you didn't do nothing for me that was terrible uh shangri-la that's it shangri-la that's it. That's not telling me anything. <laughs> what would make you take VR gaming seriously? Shangri-La. No. 
<laughs> that's dumb, Jeff. What do you mean that's dumb? That's dumb. What do you mean that's, that's not dumb? An answer. That's not a. You're not even like. What do you mean that's dumb? Engaging with the question. Um, I would say this: when we can, when um, when when the system gets to the point where we don't have to be up on our feet to do certain things, the only reason why I say that is because a lot of people that put on the VR headphones end up breaking things because they either get scared. Oh, right, right. <laughs> by by thinking, you I got what? you. I got yeah. you. So I got you. So every time, like, look what happened to the chick uh, that that was uh, that we saw on TikTok. She put on it on and she broke the fireplace glass because she ran forward. We're just seeing crazy. videos of people That's smashing crazy. and breaking into things because they 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 think it's real, so they start, especially the ones that fall but off. How do you, but how do you do that though? Like, uh, Neuralink. Can, can you? No, no, no. But like, right? Because you could you could think images, right? You could think images. You can think words. Yeah. But like, can you think? feeling and action like because you're sitting down but no there's the there's and that's why they started making those um those haptic things those haptic feedback but that's things. just that still involves that's just translating what the game is supposed to feed into the controller to your body yeah so it's like right. um it's like um the sensation like certain people like, like if they were to play like call of duty uh, or or Fortnite, they would like they they can get like a an, an um a toy gun for the for the uh, PlayStation or PC or whatever, and then they can feel the haptic feedback of the the recoil of it, even though it's just vibrations. That's a lot. I, That's a lot. I feel like we're still in that space <laughs> where for immersive games. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're you got to buy that. all this gear and stuff. Yeah, and it's just like I feel like there needs to be a balance between like I don't know uh, uh, until I'd say neurology jumps into the gaming space or even like interacting with that i don't know someone smart enough or or who wants to like has a big enough idea needs to bridge the gap between that and gaming because if you already see what's happening with Neuralink and other subsequent technologies that kind of revolve around that like it should just make sense right it should just translate easy right oh yeah for sure you know but i don't know i don't know and and if you were to have like full dive gaming, full dive VR, would you always want to be in first person or would you play in third person? I play in first person only mm -hmm. only because um, I think the way that a lot of shows portray is they put the person in third person just so you can see what they are. But right. the if, if it's you, then it's going to feel like it's coming through your eyes. You see what I'm saying? I feel so that. just how I see and feel and all that stuff like that, and it's you don't think that's gonna be like fucking. It it only feels weird because when they do it in like, um, like I said, like when they do it in like TV shows in first person, it feels weird because you're like, oh, I'm not controlling this body, but they're doing it like when um Broly was punching Goku through the rocks when we went to watch them right. uh, 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 Dragon Ball Super Broly. Mm -hmm. It felt weird because we were in first person as Broly, but again, it's not us. It's the perspective that they always put that it they in. Are, I don't know. Uh, what did he say? Story time's coming next month. I mean, technically, can we call the 29th next month? No. Why? Why would you disrespect the leap year? The golden year. The golden day of the golden year. Oh, yeah. We only get this day once. Uh, I guess he... I guess he, uh, he kind of announced it to you guys. But yes, yes, uh... Uh, the grim the the grand reaper is uh, coming uh, for another interview pretty soon uh he says next month but the 29th is still february so i'm gonna give him shit for that <laughs> said next month what, what the hell really vic it's a hidden day it's a what what do they call it? it's a unique scenario it's a unique scenario it's a unique scenario yeah so absolutely hold on let me he will have the only February 29th episode. Yes. For the next four years. Four years, yes. <laughs> After that, everybody else has to wait. That's dumb. Everybody else has to wait. <laughs> but, um. Oh, man. No, but uh, the the next one on the list is, um, uh, what is it? Dogma? Dragon's Dogma? Dragon's Dogma 2. two. I've never played the first one, but they're finally coming out. They finally released the trailer for the first the one dropped ten years ago. Yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 no. Twenty twelve. So fourteen years ago. Fourteen years ago. So it's it's amazing to see 
what they're going to do with this IP because it's like a world building type stuff. So I've never seen, I've never played the first one, and I'm gonna be honest, I've never played it, but it looks really good, and that's probably something I'll check out. Hopefully, it's not connected to the first one. But Most it, likely, it will be. The, it, it'll yeah. probably reference something. But uh, you could probably, I don't know, maybe you could find a port or something. I don't know. Oh, to try to like right, or it, if it no, because it was on PC originally, mm -hmm. right. The original game dropped on PC. And that's, uh, that's something I never had. That's right. the only thing. Uh, so see if it's on Game Pass. They might have it on Game Pass. I don't know if it's. I don't know. I, I would have, have, Yeah, I would have right. to take a look. Right. Um. The next one, Rise of the Ronin. That looks very interesting. It reminds me of Assassin's Creed. It does. It does. Um. But I think. Um. Yeah, you're right. It reminds me of Assassin's Creed, but like more free roaming they specifically tell you to go to certain places or um, do you think it just felt the same i think it's more open world it doesn't look bad it doesn't look like a bad game it just doesn't look finished and i don't know if that game is dropping this year yes yes these are these are uh, mo it, now is this later this year no it's i think it said uh march or april 2024 so it's not it's not like uh, we'll see yeah it's, we'll see it does, you know, it, yeah yeah you it know doesn't look up. too bad because essentially like the the premise of the game is to fight against fate or fight your fate yeah 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 um because i guess this is the era in which like the west the west starts the western uh society start influencing mm -hmm. you know feudal japan with like swords and then they start introducing them to guns mm -hmm. and stuff like that but you you don't care about that your mission is to become the top ronin of all ronins of all ronins meanwhile you don't realize that the way of the Ronin is going extinct. It's going extinct. So. so by the time you get to the top, what are you? You see what I'm saying? No, I agree. Are I agree. you still a Ronin or are you whatever this thing is? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that's cool. That's a cool premise. Like, I definitely play that. You know what I'm saying? I definitely play that. But no, I don't think that's too bad. No. Oh, uh, and then, um, of course, we saw Until Dawn. But again, they just said it was just a remaster from the PlayStation 4. Jumping to the PlayStation 5. I got so excited because I was ready to play Until Dawn. I'm like, oh, all my characters survived except for the chick in the last one at the cabin. And then it's like, okay, this is just a remaster just like they did The Last of Us. So they're going to pull a Last of Us where they did the PlayStation 3, 4, and then now 5. Because they can never stop remastering it. No, I feel that. Um, Death Stranding 2. Is it called Death Stranding 2? No, it's called something else. No, it's called Death Stranding 2 on the beach. Right. See, and it's another Hideo Kojima. He just added on the beach. He just a freaky mind motherfucker who's just makes cool looking games and, and I really want to play the first Death Stranding. Cuz like we were watching the trailer and the second trailer is a huge departure from what the first one was. Yeah, it's like um like because now he's no longer tied to the organization mm -hmm. that he was working for. And he in saved the, the planet somehow. And he saved the world somehow. So now, like, I actually have to play this game, even though the first game is just a bunch of walking. Mm -hmm. It's just a bunch of walking. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Yapping and walking. You know. But the second game looks really great. Mm -hmm. Looks really great because like now you could build your own shit because he is an engineer or whatever he is. Yeah. Because it's not human. No one's human, apparently. You know what I'm saying? In this new America or something like that. What was it called? Or something like that? He's like, I special for the next four years. I, I special. <laughs> for the next four years, presents. Uh, oh, peasants. Yeah. I'm dead. No, I feel that. No, nah, yeah. I feel that. We'll call it the golden episode or something. No, but um, I know that they are... Um, um, I know that they are working on a... Um, a uh, Gears Five to finish the trilogy of the young kids. I thought they're why? Well, because they already came out with four. Okay, but what was four? I thought four was a prequel. Wasn't one of them a prequel? No, that uh, Gear Gears of War Judgment Day or Judgment was a prequel. That's when Dom and all the crew right when were, they were young when they were young. Yeah, so they're they kind of introduced. Are they still all. fighting the? Yes. The, the locust or the horde or whatever. There's a, there's a new there's a new breed. There's a new queen. Are they mutated? Yes. So what happened after they all went lambent? 
did they continue to further evolve? You played the the. I only played three. I'd never got into four or five. You played six. four with me. I watched you play four. I didn't play four with you. I watched you. Oh no, you yeah, you're right. I didn't play four with you. I don't even think you were no, yeah, at the crib with us right. when you played four. Yeah, you're right. I only played one through three, and that was ugh, that was amazing. Oh yeah, it was especially what we found out at the end. Right. Oh, that was fucked up. Oh, man, that, was that was so was fucked up. Crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. That was crazy. They yeah. were all. Well, no, because I don't know if anyone in the chat has played the entire trilogy of Gears. Bro. It's good, though. When did Gears of War come out? Doesn't matter. That's not fair. That's in a, that's It's a, like a movie. No, it's a genuine about? experience. No. It's like a movie. What are you talking about? Everybody has different feelings and emotions. No, you no, know no. what I mean? People in, in, in The Last of Us told me what happened at the beginning, and I still played it and cried like a little little baby. Exactly. So what are you talking about? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's an experience. Right. But why would you ruin the story when that's the driving point behind everyone's tragedy? That's just like a movie. No. That's like me telling you how the movie ends. Okay, then. We do that all the time. No, okay, me and you. Me and you. Right? No, when we t we had a movie episode on here. What are uh, you talking Raymond about? Raymond says I absolutely love that trilogy except for the one where they based around Baird. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. See that, yeah, that I didn't like. Yeah, but the original trilogy was awesome. It's that was just, peak, man. That, see, and that's why I was like it fucking was with Xbox. It was you peak. You see what I'm saying? COD was peak. Gears was peak. A uh, Halo was peak. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Um, they had all these. Um, Assassin's Creed was peak. Yeah, they had all like, the. Well, it wasn't Assassin's Creed on PlayStation. Was, was that also on PlayStation? Yeah, it was a multi platform. Okay. It was a multi platform. Okay, what uh, what else was exclusive to Xbox at that time? So or what, or were those just like the three kings of like original? I think those were the three. Well, Sunset Overdrive was also an OG for them too because they didn't have it on any other platform. No, but I mean like what really sold the console? I think it was Halo. Halo yeah, really Halo, Halo really sold the Halo, console. Halo, COD, and Gears. Yeah. Halo, COD, and Gears. Yeah, because I know there were certain things that they would release on Xbox that they wouldn't release on PlayStation, but then there would be some things on COD that they would release on PlayStation that they wouldn't release on Xbox. Right. So... But no, yeah, like, uh, hold on, I crossed over from Xbox because, what did he say? I crossed over to Xbox because of Gears of War. Exactly, but that's, that's well, for me, I didn't even cross over, I just always grew up playing Xbox, Xbox because I always knew people that played Xbox. But then again, too, they had specific games that you can play on there that were amazing that you couldn't play on the other one. Oh, that's fire. But then after that, uh, it's like, I keep hearing about, even Uncharted, because Uncharted came out with PlayStation 2. So that's facts. That's what ended up getting us to cross over to PlayStation. Exactly. Because like after no, you, you got Second Son first. Second Son. I know, but remember, we you ended up buying the Nathan Drake collection before we even got the PS4. I didn't yeah, because yeah, I knew it was coming. You knew it was coming, so, so you just bought the Nathan Drake collection and we never even I'm like, didn't, I'm didn't like even all right, I played Tomb Raider, the new version. Mm -hmm. It was good. But then everyone keeps telling me, yeah, but play uh, but play um, Uncharted. And I'm like, all right, what's the difference between that and Tomb Raider? Oh, completely different. It's oh, completely different. different. Oh, different. The mechanics of the game, the ability to do whatever you want, to fight, all that stuff like that is completely different. It was amazing. And it's like it combined it um, ancient and lost artifact with magic, science, and it was, they're just putting everything together. Like even um, the the final game, which was about um, Blackbeard, I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. That was a thing. That's crazy. So, Raymond says also Halo. That was a big pusher of the console. Yeah, yeah. Because even when I was in tenth grade, I was playing Halo on the computer at school. Like we we had a, a football coach that would let us go, go. Oh yeah, I forgot. When you said tenth grade playing Halo on the computer, I'm like, I feel that. 2001 sir right that's crazy to me halo you started old motherfucker no halo started 2001 <laughs> i was in it. dog we was do having land parties since 2006 we were in i was in 10th grade. i was doing land parties in like the fifth grade yeah i think that was the 05 mm -hmm. after we would finish doing in class work or testing mm -hmm. they'd let us run to the computers and all the guys would set up a lobby on the halo pc and shit we'd all download halo pc even after like they told us not to yeah and then put like a a barrier on the 
on the network and we already knew how to bypass it oh yeah for sure microsoft.com download that halo free trial yeah exactly that came with multiplayer. and they blocked it because they yep. said the only reason why we kept going into that computer room was to play to play halo on, man yeah, we, we have land parties bro yeah. during lunch sneak into the computer you can't room stop what the fuck? That. you wouldn't stop me can't what stop fuck? With that. <laughs> um yeah, oh man did we did, yeah but um I mean, yeah. So, like I said, um, just to just to kind of uh, put it to conclusion to that. I mean, that's 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 kind of what it is. It's not like I said. It's not like I will never go back to Xbox. But if they can actually produce something very good, right? Now think about it. Because like, remember that one year. Sorry to cut you. No, off. go ahead. Remember that one year. I think it was their last E3 as well, or maybe it was the Xbox Showcase, where they did that big old thing. It was trending all over Twitter. Everyone was talking about it. What's gonna happen? Um, Xbox or Microsoft bought all these gaming IPs, all these mm-hmm. first party IPs, left PlayStation dry, mm-hmm. left all these other companies dry, and it's like you have all these first party companies. Yeah. Do that's something. True. Exactly. You're you know sitting on a gold and, mine. And all we've been seeing is delays, delays, unfinished product, mm-hmm. bad product. They're selling you vaporware. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What company? Pay $70 for this empty shell, and then we'll charge you 20 consecutive dollars for every DLC, for every DLC. to fill up the game. What company did you say was um, just giving um, um, third-party people uh, money just to make their games, or was that was that uh, PlayStation? That's PlayStation. PlayStation. That's okay. why a lot of the announcements, I was like, I have no idea who the fuck these people are. People are. are because, no, cause yeah, the brand new studios. They all left. Yeah. They all left because Microsoft bought them. Microsoft became one. All of, most of uh, PlayStation's first party uh, uh, companies all left because Microsoft made that. What does it say? I stand on that. What? I stand on that with the most disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you my what? God. <laughs> no, I bet, man. I bet. And um, one last uh, one last thing that I wanted to say uh, about uh, Justice League um, um, was it Suicide Squad? Suicide Killed, Squad. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League is the the disservice that they did to Kevin Conroy because um, um, they said that that was five years after the Dark Knight, so it's like the disservice that they did to him when they killed him at the end of the game, and they basically said that oh, in order for him to in order for the, they're gonna do a DLC where they just bring everybody back, but it's like the game didn't end. Was like it, it some Rajago type shit? The fucking probably the, you know. the Lazarus or or, <laughs> or 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 they pull a Flash and then they just oh like, wait no they pissed on happened. Flash yes they pissed on dead Flash yeah so they yeah and that, that was the fucked up part the That's way they crazy the it way. was violating the justice it wasn't killed it it was violating <laughs> they're the justice violating the justice league, league. That's oh crazy. yeah like they said they pulled down um green lantern's pants um and then um he, they stripped him naked they pissed on the flash they took a shit on another <laughs> justice league i'm like jesus christ bro like i get it they're the suicide squad but come on really they're just villains that kill people <laughs> that's crazy oh man but to me that was that but i <laughs> i mean it's a trash ass game man nobody's gonna buy it especially with the even ign couldn't back it because you know how ign's always like oh yeah this was great you know we could have worked on this they we couldn't could've... even pay ign to fucking lie. Gas that shit they, they couldn't boost yeah. that shit. they couldn't lie the because they 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 had a <laughs> microsoft became the gaming empire um yeah, no, but but they couldn't lie this time. That was the issue. They could not lie. They tried so hard to see when you own everything, do you know do you where do you find new ideas? When you know ever when you own everything. That's true. You see what I'm saying? So like, the question now what is the goal? See, when you're hiring new creators, new first party or new, like third party titles, indie developers, and you raise them up, like you fund them, right? Mm-hmm. They made a great indie game, mm-hmm. and now you're like, all right, your indie game did great. Mm-hmm. Now you give them like a legitimate mm-hmm. budget, and you boost them up. Now you have like a new IP. Like you, I don't know. I just feel like it makes more sense to, you know. I I feel like I would give IPs if I was these gaming companies short term contracts. Okay. Because if you give them a long term contract, they can meander, you know, waste bullshit, time, waste time. Change it. If they have a deadline where they have to right. finish, because look what happened, with Rockstar. Right. They wasted so much time adding things in, and, and then going the back game in. just becomes a shit product. Not even that; it wasn't even ready. There was glitches. Give them a deadline. Yeah. 
give them a shorter contract give them a, but a, this a, is the, the this is the issue because they put in their head they put in their head oh we came out with three great games great games from two right because no one believed in yeah. you so we came out with three great great games from 2009 to 2015 that we can do whatever we want now because they believe in us look what happened every oh what's the name of that game company that came out with last of us what is their name oh naughty dog naughty Naughty Dog kept coming out with bangers. And then they're like, okay, Naughty Dog keeps coming out with bangers. They can do whatever the fuck they want. Then they come out with this trash called The Last of Us 2. And it's like, what the fuck happened to you? You came out with Nathan Drake Collection. That was fantastic. You came out with um, The Last of Us. That was fantastic. And then they let you come out with The Last Aren't of Us. Aren't they remastering The Last of Us again and again? The Last of Us 2. They're again, remastering. Again, again, yes. again, again, again. Yes, they're doing again, Well, again, The Last again, of Us again. 2 came out on PlayStation uh, uh, 4. So the remaster. I bet you PlayStation, PlayStation 12 <laughs> get the <laughs> Golden Era Last of Us Bro. on remaster, Bro, re, re, remaster. Yeah, fuck that, now bro. in VR. Yeah, no, <laughs> fuck that, bro. So, uh, and and that's the thing. Like you said, if you give if you give a game too much leeway, see, this is how I know. This is how I know. Um, Grand Theft Auto Six is going to be an amazing game because they literally from 2013 to now to now. Let me finish. <laughs> this nigga never lets me finish. To now, because they're... Let me tell you something. Let me, let me, let tell, you let something. me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> Have been collecting data from, um, uh, from, um, from five. Seeing what they can improve on. See what they can do. Or, like you said, sometimes they'll just take a reskin. And That's they, what I'm saying. And like, then change the story. You think they really care? Nah. Like, you think they're using all that money Microsoft is giving them to put towards the game or to pay the CEOs and the board members? $2.3 million to right. be exact. Right. You feel me? Like, you really think these people are putting all that money? If they really, if these development companies really cared about games, you would be seeing quality games. And utilizing the full extent. performance of these consoles that was feel. advertised to us. N almost five years ago. I feel it. Now we're about to head into mid-generation consoles, mm -hmm. and we still have nothing to be like, okay, this is what I'm proud of this console for. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm that's saying? That's true. That's embarrassing. And I think that's why, like you said. That's embarrassing. I think that's why. Smoke says The Last of Us 2 was so bad. I completely agree with you. Look at that. Something <laughs> we agree on, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot, Jeff. Uh, shit. I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, shit. No, man. Um. Uh. Yeah. But like, like you said, if, if people cared, then they would have made a good game. The reason why God of War was so good w was because the director, even in the process of making that game, he literally spoke to us and says, "This is what we want to do. This is the direction we want to go. This is how we decided to do the landscape. We wanted to make a tired old man that has been doing this this shit for a long time, um, and all that stuff like that. So it's like where they're at now." Where the where they're at now gave them the product of the game and it did amazing. Everybody bought it. Everybody oh, played right. it. The second one was even more amazing. Right. I'm in the middle of playing it, but so far the story is fantastic. And it's like they're gonna finish off the trilogy with one more game. And then on top of that, they might be remaking or not right. re remaking like a reimagining, reimagining like right. of uh, of God of, of the original God of War trilogy. So it's like if you care about a property, it will come out good. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if you're just throwing it out so you can get money, especially people that don't have unfinished games, they just want you to pre-order so they can use your pre-order money to put it back into the game. <laughs> what That's the what's fuck? crazy to me. That's what blows my mind. No, I'm thinking about what you're saying. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. Hilarious. And it's like the only way they make they actually make their money is when they do DLCs, they do skins, they do all this other stuff. They don't make their money from the pre-order. The pre-order. Yeah, just DLCs used to be like cool exclusives. Yeah. Like if you're a hardcore gamer, like. I'm getting this because I want to, you know, like it was an actual expansion to the completed game. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean? For sure. So, and you actually know. got, like you said, a completed game. Right. It wasn't a, oh, you have access to the IP on this server now. Right. So good luck. Because literally, like um, that guy that was doing the video on PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 was showing you how massive the exclusives were for each the generation. The first party titles The first were. party titles right. were until we started getting to 3 and 4. And then 5 is literally like maybe... There's only 4. Th yeah, four, 4 or 5 exclusives on there. So it's like 
there 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 there's no more first part there's no for um exclusivity ex- exclusivity to right. anything now right. and then they showed you from this to now this list because it's like the company owns the ip running on these servers and that's then everything he, you own nothing and you will be happy I, that's, oh man. that's literally every part of of every facet of life yes everything will be a subscription like right. they said everything's just a subscription yes sir your whole life will be a subscription mm-hmm. people think the great resets like sorry tangent but people think the great resets going to be this giant announcement where they're like Press the reset button. You everything know, or, is new. Or martial law. Or, nope. They're just going to hike the price of everything and charge you out of owning everything. And yes. then you sell your subscription fee. Yes. They'll sell you a life bundle. What life package do you want to give your <laughs> newborn son for the rest of his fucking life? Chips are required. You cannot you opt right, out of that. Right. You got to chip be, your kid. That'll be $3,000. And, bu- and buy him a life package. It's like the it's like the movie time with Justin Timberlake. It's just it's like the movie time with Justin Timberlake when they hit what was it when they hit uh 20, 20. when they hit 20 their clock started ticking so they had to keep so basically you had to work for time. Yes, you had to work for time. So time was literally money. So that was Smoke another. says back when games were actually good, we bought the DLCs the flex. Amen. Yes. Exactly. exactly. I agree. Exactly. I agree. Exactly. That, that's the man. thing. That's literally what it was. Mm-hmm. It was just like, yo, I got that new DLC, da da da, and mm-hmm. then you know the boys would come over or be like, just to try it, right? Or I got that new character, right? Like, blah blah blah. Yeah. Or like if you got the new map pack or some shit like was, that. Uh, uh, yeah, like, you like got it was like a complete three, map pack. Exactly. You, you got it two three like, months before anybody right, else did. Right. Or, or yeah, if you did the whole pre order thing, mm-hmm. right? No, yeah. that's facts. Or people would stand out in lines just to get their copy of of what came out, but it's not like that anymore, man. It really isn't, but um, no, no, but yeah, based, so um, that that's the thing. That's just to start off the year. Literally January, January thirty first. Uh, PlayStation already released their state of play. I know um, Xbox also does it too. I'm waiting to see what they have with that. Hopefully, um, maybe one exclusive, please something because all I keep seeing is third party, third no, party, just third party. Oh, we acquired this new company. We acquired that new company. Great. What what are you doing? What are you doing with it? Because I keep hearing the acquisition of all these companies, <laughs> but I'm not hearing any exclusives for Xbox. Make me want to buy an Xbox One X, but if you're not doing that, I'm going to stick with my Xbox One. They're going to buy all the companies and release one game a year. <laughs> They're gonna be like because we own all the companies, no one else can make games, so we'll release one game. But that's that's the issue. You see what I'm saying? That's the issue. They need to change that that mindset. Like, yes, we get it. Now you have all these companies. What are you doing? Stop giving me third party games. Some people, some people don't want third party games. Some people mm-hmm. want a first party game with a great story. <laughs> Cough. World at War. No facts. Yes. It, even if you remaster nah, World at War, I'll dog. take that. Please, please. See. I thought uh, Call of Duty World War Two was, you know, going to be that, mm-hmm. but it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. I don't know. Something about World at War, bro. That shit was just. It was different. It make was, make it not talk. It was different. We're gonna man. burn them out. It was different, man. Yeah, it was. It was. World but at um, War was different. No, but yes, yeah, so like I said, the beginning of this year is going to be amazing. Like I said, they already came out with uh, State of Play. We're just going to be waiting for Xbox. Because, again, too, guys, we're gamers. We're nerds. We're movie lovers. We're anime watchers. We, we love everything. We're Star Wars lovers. Because I know Vic. Vic loves the Empire, you know? Oh, man. We are becoming the Empire. Oh. Vic has shown me the lightsabers, the starships. We are getting there. So, um, we're, we're all that in between co- comic book watchers, all that stuff like that. So, it's like, please give us something good that we would actually play. Because when PlayStation 5 Spider-Man 2 came out, I finished that game in three days. That was crazy. Three days. Um, people finished in one, but I wanted to enjoy it. Three days. So, they're like, how do we wait? To make that potato salad. <laughs> They're like, how do we wait? <laughs> Snot says, oh, you guys are nerds? <laughs> Couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as they look at the movie Couldn't background. Couldn't tell. The, huh? the Funko Pop and That's the Spider-Man. Crazy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's like, I didn't know that. But um, no, so it's like, so it's like, please come out with something great so we can play. Because like I said, I will put my time into it if it's an amazing uh, game. 
even if it's a third party exclusive that's good i will play it but if it's like all you're focusing on is third parties Word. i'm not gonna want to play it man so it needs to be good because for me i'm a story i'm a story guy i love story games i'm not very on i'm old school i'm not online like um you youngins are or you youngins do so i'm just like right, every single time i try to get this man to play an online game no nah, man i ain't doing that to play a multiplayer I'm game. I'm not getting destroyed by these uh, Zillennials like, and that's uh, just crazy to me. Zoomers and Gen Z. Because <laughs> I know my fat my fat thumbs are slow, so I'm not doing that shit. Oh, slow ass reflex. Hell yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? Listen take, here, young man. You better not shoot me. Take some osteo biflex. <laughs> what the fuck? Right. But uh, you got any uh, final thoughts? Uh, you got any final thoughts? No, man. I mean, because like I said, I, I wanted to uh, bring up the topic on, because uh, we're going to talk about video games, but we watched State of Play, so we kind of just uh, started off the year with, with that, because I know we, we kind of have um, certain episodes on video games, movies, and stuff like that. So sometimes we pull it back, start talk, lay off the like serious stuff. Like last week, we had a great episode on uh, college struggles today. It was hurting feelings last week. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Smoke says, I'll tell you why you need to buy an Xbox Series S because me, Mike, and the Reaper Army are on there. That's facts. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's for, facts. For sure. Maybe we'll get the mid generation console. And then we can be inaugurated in the Reaper, the Reaper Army. Army. We will join you guys in taking over the Empire. The Empire. <laughs> but uh yeah yeah so um like i said man i really want to go back to xbox but i i, I need the expectation to be there at, right. at least to where i can say okay i am going to go get a console i don't want to mindlessly play a game because <laughs> i don't want to mindlessly play a game because everyone's playing the game like i, I, I genuinely want to enjoy the game yeah you know what i'm saying like i, I will play like it, there's not a game i won't play it just has to be like fun you feel me like Exactly. I, I don't know how to say that. Yeah. What no, I feel mean, destroyed. You say hard pause. What do you mean <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Like I said, I know the game to play, but I'm probably, like I said, I'm going to, unless it's only exclusive to Xbox, I'm going to get it on PlayStation. <laughs> That's the only thing, big. So I don't want to. No, the only reason why I'm, I would want to go to Xbox is for Game Pass. Yeah. I just want to, I just want Game Pass. Have a nostalgic. No, I'm not even nostalgic because, like, sometimes, like, there's some indie games on there that. Are cool as fuck, but they're only on Game Pass. On Game Pass, yeah, right. Sure. And, and you I don't get that a, exclusivity right. on PlayStation. Yeah, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you yeah, don't. I feel it. You know, so like for me, it's not a like. I don't mind getting an Xbox. I, I I will go back to my my hands feel more comfortable on an Xbox. Controller. Yeah, yeah. Like my brain never forgot how a Xbox how much better Xbox controller feels, feels to a PlayStation. It doesn't matter how many dual shocks, dual senses, whatever. Yeah, just just. The Xbox is just my hands just know what to do, you know what I'm saying. No, and the craziest it. thing is, I play Rocket League better on an Xbox controller than you do on it. Than I do on a PlayStation. Okay. You think that's why PlayStation started uh, making imitations of Xbox controllers just so um, you can feel comfortable? Yeah, but they don't feel legit. You probably have to get them like pro made. Oh yeah, for sure. Like I, none of that plastic hollow shit. You know what I'm saying? No, I feel it. Oh, and uh, last thing before we go, um. Isn't Nintendo supposed to be soon revealing? Should we be expecting a, a Switch Two anytime soon? Uh, yeah, they were talking about the Switch. I don't know when their their conference is coming up, but they did they did say they were talking about releasing a Switch Two. Hopefully, it's not just an uh, HD screen. I love or, how we just what? call it like what it is, and then add a two to it. That's because like, so, before the. Well, we don't know the name yet. That's the thing. Right, so right. everyone's just saying, oh, well, we're predicting the Switch 2 will come out on this date, but they don't know what the actual name will be. Because, like, leave it to Nintendo to never go the numerical route. Like, they've never named anything 2. Because they like Wii U. They did Wii and Wii U. Nintendo, Super Nintendo. And then Switch, Switch U. GameCube, switch U. Wii, <laughs> Wii U. And then, but before... When it was hinted about the Switch, they called it the NX. Yeah. It was the NX. Yeah. So they that wasn't even the real name. And, that wasn't even and then the when they name. revealed it, it was a completely different thing. It was thing. the Switch. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know. Nintendo always be releasing their shit like... Late. Off market. Not even late. It's off market. But the one, it, the one comment we did get about Nintendo is they have a plethora of oh, games. Man, don't even get me started. Yeah. And, and That's why I'm not saying shit about Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nintendo the, knows what it is. The PlayStation 5 2. 
No, I never forget. I like you, that. You, shit. you gotta be an old head or a millennial every day going on Google Xbox 720. Yeah, is this the is I this know. the year the Xbox, Xbox 720 comes, comes out? out? And we kept saying, bro, that's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. It's not gonna be called Xbox 720. <laughs> then they come out. <laughs> then they come out with Xbox One. I'm like, that's even dumber than Xbox 720. Right, I say like, you should just use you Xbox, just said Xbox, Xbox 720. 720. That was the Xbox I'm like, one, that's dumb. really Xbox that's dumb. One? You should have just called it 720 because we have the One, and now we're gonna be like the One One. So is there the Xbox <laughs> no, Original? The Xbox One Two. What the fuck? <laughs> Xbox Original. Wait, origin? what is this one called again? Xbox One X. They no, just, Series X. Series X. They it's just add the series. series. What the fuck? So they literally just <laughs> and see. I swear, I don't know. I yeah. Don't know. yeah, we'll see. yeah. Nintendo, Nintendo always knew what it was. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Because they came out with the OLED, but that's like that was for them. That was probably the, like the mid generation. Yeah, but they that make, was them. They make googly games and shit. But they that's the thing. Fun They're amazing and, and fun. Right. You see what I'm saying? Adults. Like if and I, kids I, if I just want to be brain dead and have mindless fun mm-hmm. on a game, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. You want to play Mario Kart? Party, mm-hmm. smash, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Uh, a boomerang foo. Yeah. You know, uh, what was that other one? The something lovers? The space lovers friend adventure? <laughs> Don't nobody want the booty. <laughs> <laughs> bootleg Dollar Tree SPS controller. <laughs> Did you ever hear it's called Xbox 360 because it turns 360 <laughs> degrees? <laughs> <laughs> you oh, shit. oh, man. You remember that red ring, bro? Yep. Damn. Bro. That was crazy. Well, what, that's was because the trick? what was the trick? You're supposed to get like anti heat glue. So you're supposed to get uh, you're supposed to get two pennies, co- actual copper pennies, before they stop making actual copper pennies. Mm-hmm. Wrap it uh, wrap it around in electric tape, and then use the uh, the electric glue to glue it on the heat heat pads. The heat sink, so, the heat yes. pads, and so shit. So that worked for me for about. Remember the towel trick? Yes. We had to wrap it around the towel and overheat it. Let's just say. <laughs> The first Xbox 360 didn't have a didn't fan. Didn't have a fan. Didn't, I don't know who they, thought that was a good they idea. They didn't know that they were supposed to put a fan on I guess on they a, thought they were building a calculator. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. They, but not realizing that people were playing it 24 seconds. And then they're, they had to come out with warnings. or fires. fires. They know. were talking about guys don't play for more than two hours. And it's like, no, saying, bitch, bro. add a fan. That's what I'm saying, Why didn't you bro. add a fan to the Xbox? Ain't no one gaming like that no more. Ain't no one setting their house on fire. Nah, man. So you know I'm saying if you ain't gaming to hey, your console Bru- blow out. Bruce is giving us that look like nigga. All right, buddy. All right, go. buddy. He's like, let's all go, right, buddy. But um, yeah, man. So that's that's kind of just what I wanted to bring up. Like, have a have a cool, fun, relaxed conversation about. No, um, I feel you. About uh, I feel you. But uh, yeah, <laughs> Snazz is Lamau. Mm-hmm. Calculator. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, man, you gonna build a, a machine pumping out what? What was max settings? 1080p. 1080p. 1080p for 12 hours. No, I think bro? it was 720. It was the Xbox 360. Right, the first generation. First generation was uh, one, the one black one. The the elite. The elite. The Xbox Elite. Right. The one we upgraded to uh-huh. did 1080. Did 1080p. Right, right, so. right. That's the one that didn't give us the red ring. That's the one we were playing for, like, a lot. What What game was I playing? Yeah, Bayonetta. Mm -hmm. Remember, I played that game two days straight. I did not sleep. I did not sleep. Jeff went to work, came back. I think it was during summer vacation Mm -hmm. I played that game. I played that game. That's crazy. And I played, and I literally played, I literally played um, Batman Asylum City. And then um, because the uh, Xbox One came out, they didn't make um they didn't make it. Damn, we play hella games on that motherfucker. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we Ninja did. Gaiden, yep. fucking, fucking hate that Naruto, fucking all the Naruto's, all the Dragon Ball Z's. Yes, what was it? I think it was much funner when you had to do the jutsus with your hands. Yeah, like, we had to actually like put in the jutsus. Yeah, on the like, joysticks. Different. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah, that was but, cool as hell. But yeah, man. So um no, hopefully, like I said, um we. They can they uh, Xbox when they come out with their showcase. Please, please, Spencer. L- look, look, look at me, Spencer. <laughs> if anybody clips this and sends this to you, please stop giving me third party announcements and give me a real fucking game. 
give me something. Something, bro. An exclusive. Not trailers. See, you know that dragon game that you were supposed to. Gameplay. You know that dragon game you were supposed to. Co- they were. You were supposed to come out with a, a couple years back. A and decade you, ago. A decade ago. I hope you know that was that, a decade ago. And so. you decided to cancel it for no fucking reason. Why did? Why? Why? That that was gonna be an amazing game. I was gonna be like Jeff. How do you know it's gonna be an amazing? It's game? a kid riding a fucking dragon. That's all I need to know. A kid riding. <laughs> a, oh, you mean where he had to like he. It yeah. was scale bound. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. See, look at that. He even remembered the name. That's scale how. Bound. That's how upset he was. He remembered that name from ten nah, years ago. Nah, they gassed ago. the fuck out that thing, bro. And then they just decided they to cancel it. So, please, please, when you come out with your showcase, stop telling me about the new party gate, third party uh, g- uh, companies you acquired, and please give us an exclusive or at least something good, so I can want to go on Xbox again. But uh, that's my rant. That's all Smoke. I gotta say. What, final message from Smoke, and then we'll sign off. Uh, I'm old. Smoke says, "LOL, OG 360. Back when it didn't come with a storage, to, bruh. Oh, back yeah. when you had to buy a Wi-Fi adapter. Oh, yeah, dog. Yeah. You know how you had to stick or, that little right. wire. Yeah, yeah. Or you had to be near the 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 Ethernet cable. Ethernet cable. Yeah, bruh. Be a long Ethernet. I cable used to. <laughs> I'm not even gonna. Nah, Man, we I'll, we'll age. save we'll save that for another time. I'll tell y'all how I used to play we on giving Xbox Live. We giving our age, bro. That was crazy. That was crazy. Yes, Vic, you are definitely old, bro. How's he old? Wasn't he born like 2000? He's, he's young old. Ah, uh, he has an old mindset. Yeah, he, he old so he's, he's just sucking a youngin's body. R- I feel it. Right. Right. I feel it, but um, yeah, man, um, but uh, that's that's what I got. You got anything? You got any last words for um our um the Reaper Army? Uh. I want to thank you guys for stopping by today. Yes, sir. Today was really, really fun. You guys kept the chat super, super live. Yes, super sir. Yes, sir. That's what I love about it. Uh, every time you guys interact with us, we it's uh, I have a good time. It's a yeah, good time, thought provoking, and of course, uh, sure. if you got any questions for us, you know you can always ask us. Yes, sir. Yes, but sir. Um, uh, take us home. Yes, sir. Guys. Thank you again for joining us at the, at the Tabletop. If you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. You have a good night, weekend, evening, and day, and we'll see you on Thursday. Good night, Snot Dog. Good night, Snot Dog. See ya, see ya.